Hello, this is Chris Minnick with Webucator. In this video, I'm going to show you PHP type hints, self and parent. This video was inspired by a blog post by Hans van der Vecken, which is available at the URL shown here. Since version 5, PHP has had the capability to type hint function arguments. Over the years, the number of possible type hints has increased. Here's a summary of what's currently available. Two type hints that you don't see very often are self and parent. Let's take a closer look at these two and when you might use them. Self means an object of the same type as the current class or subclass. Every variable passed must be an instance of the same class. The self type hint is useful when modeling relations between nodes and objects and a relationship needs to be modified between the two objects of the same type. When you create an implementation of this interface, it will be necessary to replace the self type hint with the original class or interface name. Let's look at some examples of situations where we can use self as a return type. One of the more obvious use cases is setters or mutators that allow method chaining. If you use self as the return type, it doesn't matter if the method returns a cloned version of the object. The object that is returned is of the same type as the object on which the method is called. When extending or implementing a method in a subclass, you have to make the type hint explicit so that the declaration is compatible. If you use this object, it will tell your IDE that whatever is returned will be of type foo, the interface. So, practically, it won't autocomplete method names of the foo implementing class anymore. In this example, if setBaz is not a method of the interface foo, it will not be recognized by the IDE. Thus, for chaining methods, the return type self isn't so useful. Coming up with examples of non-setter methods that still return objects of the same class isn't so easy. Here's one. And here's the implementation of this. This isn't good design, however. This method clearly doesn't belong in this interface. The parent type int always refers to the class that you're extending. In this example, it means bar or one of its subclasses. The object that gets passed here could be of a sibling class of foo, for example. The type hint cannot refer to an interface. It's exactly the same as when you would call a method on a parent class. You can only use it when the current class actually extends a parent class. There are a couple reasons why the parent type hint isn't used much. First, if your code is designed with respect to the solid principle, almost everything is an interface or an implementing class. You'll see that the number of abstract classes will be very small, and almost no classes get extended. So, using the parent type hint is very rare. Second, it's generally better to type hint interfaces. This is based again on solid design principles. Specifically, the idea that objects should be replaceable with the objects of subtypes, and that you should depend upon abstractions. Thus, the number of type hints that are class type hints, and not interface type hints, is very small. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks again to Hans for the inspiration. Check out Made with Love at the URL shown here for other articles related to software development.